Hi everyone, this is Team with Motorcycling and I'm here to uh, with another disc golf vlog. Um, I'm going to talk to you about PDJ membership packet, what comes in the packet today. And then I'm going to talk to you about my first disc golf tournament experience and what I think about it. Okay, so let's get started. So um, in order to play in this tournament or um, and get some rewards, you have to be a PDGA membership or PDGA member. So I signed up for my membership back in March. Uh, don't do that. It takes them forever to send it out to you and process it to you because it's a very busy time of the year. So it took them a long time. I was at the disc golf tournament when this came in in the mail uh, on Saturday. My golf tournament was on Sunday, but I was out of town, so I did not even get this till I came back from the tournament. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go through what's in there. I'm going to talk to you about uh, what equipment I use, what some of the discs I use during the tournament. Of course, talk to you about the tournament, kind of give you an idea of how the course was laid out, and, and then my overall thoughts on um, what my experience uh, were. And... Uh, I have three goals going into this tournament and I'm going to talk to you about those goals and uh, basically just like give you an idea of what uh, a tournament setting is like and uh, see if it's something for you. The, so the first thing is the membership um, package. So this came in the mail and my mom put this on my desk. Uh, the first thing that they give you is a PDGA, PDGA store member discount. So they give you a little code. Um, you get 15% off merchandise. So there's the first thing they give you. The second thing they give you is a sticker, so you can put this on the, uh, you know, back of your car window or whatever. The next thing they give you is the di the rules, the rule book. Um, I kind of wish I had this. I kind of wish I did my homework pretty much before going to the tournament, and uh, so I'm gonna be carrying this in my bag from now on. Um, a membership card. It's a very nice membership card. It's like a. Uh, it's a very it's a very hard plastic. It's like a credit card pretty much um, Without any money on it, of course. Um, my player rating is zero. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's a uh, it's zero. So uh, My first tournament was yesterday. So of course I don't have a rating And a really nice mini. It's a very big mini actually. Uh, let me show you what it looks like Compared to my mini uh, See my mini is yellow and look at the size of this thing uh, if I turn it over, as you can see, <laughs> it's a pretty big mini, but it's nice. It's got a colored, uh, <clears throat> colored print on the front with a PGA uh, logo on it. They also send you a disc. Um, it's a very nice disc. It's a diamond light by Latitude 64. Latitude 64 has this easy to use series of discs. They are very light. I think they are a maximum of 159 grams and they're pretty uh, understable discs to begin with because number one they're they're light and then they're also understable discs themselves. So these discs are very nice for beginners or, or just young players in general who don't have a very powerful arm. So it was very nice of them to send that. I will not throw this um, because the color is just too dark for me to, to find. I like bright discs. So there's uh, another item that they send you in the packet. Also a wel welcoming letter, of course, with um, some statistics and guidelines, basically what a pro is, a pro women, what is that uh, considered so in terms of age and ratings. And they also tell you what uh, divisions are available in the, PG um, in the disc golf tournament world. And then you are sub then you get subscription to the disc golf magazine. So this one is from spring 2013, and this one is from spring 2014. Sorry, that was my phone going off. But yeah, so you get a subscription to that. So yeah, so that's what comes in the PDGA membership packet when you become a member. The next thing I want to talk about is um, sorry, I have some notes here. Is basically the tourney I went to. The tourney I went to is part of the Illinois Open series. Uh, basically series of tournaments that we have here in the state of Illinois. It, this one was recommended to me by my friend. I forgot to sign up for it, but my subscriber reminded me a week ago and uh, I, I signed up for it and I uh, and then I went. Um, it's The course was at the community park in Chanahan, Illinois. It's by Joliet, Illinois, if you're not familiar with the area. It's a very nice community. It's part of a subdivision and uh, the course layout is 18 holes, but they had three temporary holes that day and all the holes have, um, the majority of the holes have long tees and short tees. There are some that don't have long tees. And so the court, the tourney was laid out where there was first round and second round. Both rounds uh, were 21 holes. The first round was from the short tees and the second round was from the long tees. 
And I wish I had played this course before coming to this tournament because, my God, the long tees were very long. Um, and um, the division that I played was the Recreational Women. I thought that was the lowest division or yeah, the one that's the least competitive. But I guess the Novice division is the one that's more casual and least competitive. Um, I, did, I was not aware of that. But... Um, but it's okay. I actually enjoy the competition. I started in Rec Women and I think I'm going to stay there for a bit before uh, I get the hang of playing in tournaments and experience and understanding the rules. And then I'll move up to Intermediate and uh, so on and so on. Hopefully I can. <laughs> um, and I'm going to talk about the equipment that I use. So I already told you how to lay out. The holes are very long, 21 holes. And um, the course, just to give you an idea, unfortunately I didn't have a camera with me on my GoPro. To record the rounds, um, I wish I could so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's very hard to talk about this without showing you guys the, the courses. But any of you who've played there, you know the course is very, um, you know, it's it's got its challenges. And it was kind of windy that day, and uh, there was a chance of rain in the middle of the second round. So that's what happened. So I brought my judges as my putters <clears throat> for that day. Um, I used to putt with magnets, if those of you have been following me, but I putt with Judge that day, and, uh, by God, I, I'm glad I brought Judge that day, because, um, I had more confidence that the wind wasn't going to kill my, uh, wasn't going to, uh, swallow up my disc and take it anywhere that, as it pleased. Uh, but the judges actually did help me a lot. My first round putting game was okay, my second round it wasn't so hot. Uh, my first round overall was, it was an okay round, but the second round wasn't so good. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then my, as far as my mid-range, I use Buzz. I use my 169 bu Buzz and my 175 Buzz. Uh, if it's a little bit windy and I need my Buzz to go to the left more, then I'll use the heavier Buzz. Um, but if not, then I'll just use my light Buzz and it just puts on that line. There are a lot of, some holes there are about 240, 250, and I just want to have a control hyzer shot. I just went to my Buzz and it did the job. This particular course had a lot of right um, hand pin placements so I use the pearl it's a very light disc it's part of that easy to use collection by Opto that I told you earlier by Latitude 64 I mean and uh, yeah this shot I just threw it on a hyzer flipped up went to the right and uh, very slow uh, if you throw it too fast you know a lot quicker than its its uh, rated speed it will dive to the right much quicker it will just turn over much quicker um, my fairways or uh, you know long distance drivers were the witness and the escape, the witness was for the same reason, a lot of right-handed shots. Um, so I used the witness for most of those shots as well if I, if I need to go further than, than 250 or 240 feet. My escape was more for flat shots with a hyzer at the end. So this was very helpful in the wind. Um, it just, you know, it just kept, it did what it, I told it to do. I just threw it flat, it'll stay flat for a bit and hyzer at the end, which is kind of nice for, uh, for that sh type of shot selection. My most used disc was my nuke for the day, my beat up nuke. This is a flippy nuke, so throw it in a hyzer, it flipped up, and uh, a lot of the holes were over 300 feet, so I had to use my nuke a lot, and um, so yeah, so that was my l super long distance driver. When it was windy, there were a lot of out of bounds, um, especially the last hole, the out of bound was literally anything to the right, because there was a path, a walk path, and anything to the right is OB, so I... Um, with the wind coming up, I wasn't very confident that this was going to come back because it's such a flippy nuke. I used a, a newer nuke, uh, a newer version of it, so it, um, it made sure to make sure it came back. I used the Pro Destroyer once or twice, but uh, it was just more of, um, you know, if there's not a lot of wind and if there's a tailwind, I would get a little bit more glide and it would hyzer in um, as I please. So those were the main discs that I threw. So my main ones were really the nuke. Um, it wasn't really much to escape some, uh, the pearl, the witness, my buzz, and the two putters, my two judge. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you this. All of my approach was done with a Pro D Challenger, the old school one. And, uh, oh my gosh, I need to get another one of these and I can't find them because they're not made anymore. Um, but all of my approach was done. Uh, some of the 230, 240 uh, straight shots, I did use this putter to get there, and, um, this is a great putter, I can't believe, um, that I can't find any more of it, 
Anyway, so yeah, so those that, those are the discs that I use. And of course my grip bag. I did have a caddy that day. Um, she's my partner. She actually went out because it was my first tournament. So she caddied for me. She wore this thing all day. And I'll do a review on that later. The mini that I use is this, this yellow mini that my friend gave me. Um, I'm not sure what it says on there. But uh, but yeah, so that's my final equipment that I use um, for the tourney, my first tourney ever. My first disc golf tourney. So my thoughts on this. Uh, I play in the women's recreational. I don't know if I told you that. I have three goals. One is to have fun. Two is to be competitive with myself. Uh, trying to beat my first score, which didn't happen. And number three was to learn something new. And what I learned was there was the one thing that I learned was that not a lot of women come out to play disc golf at these tournaments. This was a small tournament. Uh, I was told that at bigger tournaments, a lot more women show up. And I just felt very sad because I wish there were more women coming out to even the small events. I just, you know, it was like literally three women against 60 odd men. Um, not against, I'm sorry, that doesn't sound right. But, there, you know, it was just a lot of men playing the sport, uh, even the small tournaments, especially in the small tournaments. So that's the one thing I learned. The second thing I learned is that um, there's a lot of people playing disc golf and it's a really great community and I enjoyed even though it was a competitive nature uh, playing with the other two women they were very helpful in helping me with the rules and explaining to me how you know etiquette and uh, and just you know basically getting me comfortable with uh, with the uh, the game in terms of the competitive environment so I did learn that um, my results was um, if you guys are interested I'm not sure uh, basically, I end up getting a 70, so the par was 63 for the course. Uh, I, I did plus 7 in the first round, and I did really bad the second round. I think I got a plus 24 the second round, or no, wait, what happened? Um, I ended up with an 87 the second round, so my overall score was um, was a plus 29 for the, for the day. So it's not so good, um, as you can see. So I have a lot of work to do this summer and um, my overall thoughts was that if you plan on going to a disc golf tournament don't even think twice just go do it D just find a friend and say hey do you want to come with me to the dis disc golf tournament it's very friendly um, and I'll go into the reason why I think you should go to a disc golf tournament if you're thinking about it so if you register online you pre-register online uh, for the women's it's thirty dollars plus three dollars handling fee so it's thirty three dollars for me if you go there to the actual place, uh, depending on if you do rec men or whatever, uh, the prices changes a little bit. And I think the most that I think you pay is forty dollars when you get there. But you get a players pack, and if you win, you get some reward points that look like this. So the players pack is fifteen dollars, and it's on the little thing. And then uh, they have this thing where the closest to the pink also gets a reward. And uh, I actually happened to win that one, so I got this reward as well. And then I took first place, so I got a reward for that as well. And this particular tournament, this is how they do it. They give you little reward cards, and uh, you redeem it for merchandise. My players pack, I decided to take, um, I decided to claim uh, a new disc that I'm going to try out this summer, the Striker. Um, I saw it, it was pink, and I just like, oh, that's a really cool color. So I, I decided to try that. So yeah, so there's a lot of things going on. This particular vendor had a lot of plastics. Just, you know, just a whole bunch of people out having a good time and sharing stories, you know, aces. Um, and that's just something that... Um, for 30 40 bucks it's a good day uh and the payout is really not not bad i wasn't really expecting to win this much money i just i was just expecting to have lots of fun so i'm gonna save up and uh see if i can um cash it in for like a new stool or something for my um uh, for my disc golf uh, adventures the rest of the summer so anyway so that's my overall thoughts I'm, uh, i thought the tourney was uh it ran really well i thought uh, it was a lot of fun i thought that um I wish I had more. There were more women out there to play. It's a very competitive environment. If you are a competitive person, this this is perfect for you. Um, and the the beautiful thing about this disc golf game is that you're not having you're not really depending on another play. It's just all on you. It's just your skills against someone else's skills. And I think that's what makes this uh, tournament environment really really cool to to play in. And uh, you know it's you against the course. And um, if you're having a bad day, my mental game went down in the second round, and that's something I need to work on. So I think um, if you are the type of person who is competitive, I think you should give a tournament a try. And you don't have to play in the really, really competitive level. You can play in the casual level. And, you know, I felt that my, 
Uh, my division was competitive, but it wasn't too competitive to the point where we were going to kill each other, if that makes any sense. Um, so I think it was a very nice balance of competition and, and fun. Um, so yeah, so that's my overall thoughts. I think, um, you know, my first experience was definitely a great one. I learned a lot about my discs, that's for sure. I learned a lot about my, my own game and I know what I need to work on. I need to work on my putting some more, obviously. Uh, but my putting has improved since my last video. I, I do feel that I'm more confident with the judge, so I'm gonna continue doing that. And I feel that um, that I'm more confident just playing in a com competitive uh, attorney environment. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Email me at votocycling.gmail.com uh, and I will see you in the next video.